welcome back. We're having so much fun here. Thank you for being with us. And uh, Chef Nikki Hughes is here with me, and she is one of the top chefs, and she's here from Roost Restaurant, which is in downtown Greenville. Thank you. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, now this is all beautiful. Those, I love those eggs. They're Aren't so they festive nice? looking. Yeah. yeah. And they're delicious too. We'll have to try mm. some in a minute. Okay. Now what is, oh, dessert. So we're going to hold off on dessert for just a minute. I okay. kind of wanted to right. discuss uh, a little bit more of that stress-free environment right. that we're looking okay. for. So we mentioned recently that I work at Roost. Um, Roost yes. is a restaurant in downtown Greenville. That's right. Located at 220 North Main Street in the Hyatt Hotel. Hyatt Regency to uh -huh. be specific. So something that we started offering uh, since we've been open is uh, we do large buffets for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, how nice. So when I was talking about this stuff, I'm not implying that we should skip our mac and cheese or our mashed potatoes or our turkey or any of those yeah. things. I'm saying maybe we let somebody else do it for us. Um, so at Roost, we offer those things and we will be open on Thanksgiving from 10 in the morning until eight at night oh my goodness. offering a wide variety of okay. our classic favorites and i've actually brought a menu from a couple of years ago just to kind of give uh, the audience an idea of what we do and i'll turn this over to you and let you okay. decide what to do with it um but in this we offer brunch items we offer hot savory items that you would normally have for like sunday dinner or what you were, you loved that your mom made when you were growing up um and we are accepting reservations already. Okay. Uh, and we do a lot of people that day. I so see you have a kid's table. We do. Things that especially children love. Right. That's and nice. That's something that a lot of times uh, kind of gets skipped over in yeah. restaurants or this is big lovely. buffets. So thank you for sharing this very with welcome. us. Okay. Um, so, you know, instead of uh, spending all day and uh, two or three days in advance, in the kitchen, in the yeah. kitchen, and not enjoying the holiday season, you can come and eat with us. And then you can take these small items and prepare them for your family, say, after that, when we're okay. watching football that night. Okay. You know, football's okay. big on Thanksgiving. I so. know. Um, okay. A couple other things, like after Thanksgiving, you can do different stuff with your leftovers. Uh, like turkey, for example. I make a really good turkey pot pie soup. So you take the concept of turkey pot pie and you turn it into soup, and I like to serve it with biscuits. So instead of always having a turkey sandwich or just eating turkey for days and not doing anything fun with it, I've provided you all a nice turkey She's, pot pie soup. She has sent, brought these beautiful recipes that we can't possibly do all of this here, but I can share them with you. And that thanks to our dear guest here and to Roost, we can share these with you. And they're great. There's um, uh, glazed Brussels sprouts and turkey pot pie soup. And the paste, the chef is pecan pie. And there it is. Yes, so oh. at Roost we have our own pastry chef and a pastry chef is the dessert maker pretty oh much. Um, so That's this beautiful. is something that I uh, am not the best at. Um, I can do it, but I like to leave okay. that in the expert's hands. So this is another thing that you could purchase um, before uh, the uh, event that you're doing. And you can, again, change it up and make it look like you have prepped it more for your family. So you just take it, put it on the plate like this. So that way Generally, you can see I'm, if there are more people. Right, and I'm really full on those days, so I can't possibly have an entire pie myself, or at least I shouldn't. So I just do this. That's nice, yes. And then you just do one more like that. Give you a, a little presentation. And then I've also provided you all with some homemade whipped cream. Mm. Uh, Home, it's homemade Homemade whip whipped cream, and it's the best. It's better than the, the stuff in the can. It's oh. so good. So you just take a little dollop and put it on your stuff right here. And this is a very easy uh, recipe to make, um, especially if you have any sort of blender or mixer at your house. And if I could ever make any suggestion, you should always get a, a nice food processor for your it? house. This is it. Yes, right it's here. at the very bottom. Sweet whipped cream. Oh boy. Oh boy. And okay. it's easy. Um, you know, this one's a, a not difficult to make. 
Now the pecan pie, you can cut some steps out. Uh, for example, uh, we have done uh, smaller pies just for a larger party and uh, plate presentation, but the recipe that we've provided are gonna be your uh, 10 inch pies. So okay. it's gonna be what you're accustomed to seeing at different holiday uh, meetings right. and stuff. And so again- well, That's lovely. It is, and it's delicious. Um, so that it's just nice to be able to g give your guest uh, a nice sweet after dinner dessert and uh, maybe not work too hard on it. Um, you're welcome to pre-order stuff like this yeah, from any this, restaurant. This is, that's just a nice portion where you cut mm -hmm. it in half. Yep, it's good. And you know, you can serve this with ice cream. Um, you can put a little caramel drizzle on it. There are a lot of different ways that you can serve it. So well, I like just the whipped cream. That's, me too. You know, I can pretty much eat that spoonful. You can't spoonful. improve on that. No. <laughs> it was Cool Whip when I was a kid. So uh, that was what my mima used on everything was uh, she put Cool, cool Whip. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, and, you know, using things like convenience products to make your day a little easier. You know, when you need to make turkey gravy, you can buy turkey stock from the grocery store and make gravy out of that. Um, when you want to make... Uh, Deviled eggs, for example, you can call your local grocery store and pre-order already cooked eggs for you. So there's more ways oh to, to take the, you know, we're, we're in a time now where it, everything's right at your fingertips. You just have to know where to get it. And so that's what I wanted to do today was to try to give people a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of direction on how to make their holiday a little easier and a little more enjoyable. So it's less stress. And the mess, and it's the less stress, and the mess, and the no mess, and the best way to enjoy your family on the special day. So, you know, it's uh, something that I've found now that I've grown past being able to just go in and eat and open presents, I've found to be very helpful and, uh, you know, help okay. me enjoy now, my day. I, here she has the uh, pecan pie, and then at the bottom, it's the sweet whipped cream, and it, the recipe for it is right here. Now, and I can offer these recipes. To yes, people, please right? do. Yes. This thanks to you and to Roost, we have these and just in time for the holidays. And if you would like them, it, there's no charge, but we do need a self-addressed stamped envelope that really helps us. And just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Peggy Denny Show, Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina, 29602. And we need the number because we have a lot of recipes and we get open the mail. And if you don't put the number on there, we have no way of knowing what you really wanted. So the recipe is 1025, 1025. And we'll try to get it in the mail to you in time for the holidays. Yeah. So this, you don't always have to have the turkey and dressing and all that. Right, because you... I mean, you can put things like this out and, and say to people, here, help yourself, and the sh you don't have to be in the kitchen all day. And, and it's really, you know, it, again, it takes a lot of the stress off of the person that's putting all the, the, the legwork into it. And I think that people really appreciate the, the difference. You know, a lot of times we kind of bound ourselves to always having the turkey dressing and macaroni and cheese. And so it's a, it's a nice change of pace. Um, even with the turkey pot pie, say the per turkey pot pie soup, say you are entertaining guests the day after Thanksgiving, you take your leftover turkey and uh, whip up a, a little soup really quick. And it, again, the, these are convenience products that are in here. I've, uh, yeah, I see you use frozen vegetables. Yeah, because you know there's you know. Uh, the, the, those are actually uh, very high quality. Frozen vegetables are. They take them at their high, their peak. Uh, harvest time, and that's when they freeze them. So their chances are better than what you can get than, in the than grocery Than what you get store. in the grocery. Yes, ma'am. Right now. So uh, the turkey pot pie soup, and this makes a gallon. And then um, the glazed Brussels sprouts with bacon. Oh, boy. That, that, that's lovely. So we have these in time for the holidays. If you would like them, we'll be glad to send them. And, you know, there's no charge, thanks to my friend here and, and to Roost Restaurant. Uh, but it, we do need that self-addressed envelope. Otherwise, we just can't send them out, you know. Right. So send, a, send us that, and then we'll have these on its way to you. And this says Thanksgiving Day. 
So you'll be serving food Thanksgiving and I guess into the Christmas holidays. Yes, so we uh, serve, we do a big uh, special buffet on Thanksgiving. Um, and like I said earlier, we'll be open from 10 o'clock in the morning until 8 p.m. And then on Christmas, we'll do the same thing. And we always, we do oh, a my. big show. Um, we have a big seafood display. Uh, the chef and I always uh, make a big salmon and put a bunch of different garnishes on that. So, you know, it's nice. And again, you get to go and enjoy and have a cup of coffee after dinner. And it's a, it's, it's a very special occasion that I think that we should all be able to get to enjoy more than kind of fret and stress about how, how much work it's going to be. So, yeah. um, Well, that'll be a wonderful treat for the whole family. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah.